Tonight on Klimchak's Killer Collection, we're going to take a look at a little Canadian slasher of sorts called Humongous. Humongous played in theaters in 1982, just as the post-Halloween horror hysteria was beginning to lose its momentum. Forty months into the independent horror frenzy, the formula had seen a number of variations on a the theme. What makes Humongous a notable entry in the subgenre is that it manages to put together a Scooby-Doo type mystery, the killer in the wood scenario, and a monster movie into one film. It didn't always do this successfully, but for those who consider themselves completists or completists of slasher films from this period, this is a must own. Let's take a closer look at Humongous. Viewers should take note Humongous begins with the accepted subgenre formula of establishing a prior tragedy to the present story to establish motive, so anyone attempting to disqualify Humongous as a slasher has no argument, especially when all is said and done, our villain turns out to be human. Humongous has earned its own little cult, but outside of that cult, there's not much to be impressed by. Humongous suffers mostly from the phone-in jobs done by the writer and the director. They're taking the cheap way out here, both in the way they establish motive and the way they establish that there is some type of plot point about this woman and her unlikely and cheaply established relationship with some dogs. Like other slashers that follow the rules, we jump ahead to the present completely aware that an element of danger comes with our convenient location of a big isolated lake. It's no wonder cinemas were packed with these cookie cutter films. Sandy will be down in a minute. She's cleaning our room. Just as soon as the last box is loaded. Some of them. All of the entertainment value of this film relies on this live action mutation of the Scooby Doo cast with something in its craw. Nick, for Christ's sake, cut it out. The kids find themselves in a predicament and manage to pick up a stranger along the way. The anti-Hardy brothers relationship between these two siblings gives the screenplay a little sass and creates an uneasy tension. Take the wheel. Hold the stay. An honest attempt to hypnotize the viewer into fully investing. This viewer can't. The kids find themselves stranded on the very island where something really bad happened 36 years ago. Soon the brother that nobody likes has his dramatic turn from zero to hero. I'll go see what I can find. The film fails to convince itself that it's anything more than another formula film by taking us from a semi-exotic location to the most familiar of territories. Look, there it is. We not only get the woods, but we get the spooky house. We also get to watch the kids solve an all too obvious mystery. There was brain damage too. No wonder there's nothing alive on this island. What are you doing here? You know you're not supposed to be here. And when Humongous attempts to inject some intelligence into the film, it fails because the punchline has no setup. Humongous never really manages to get going, so by the time we reach the climax, we invested simply because there is no refund on time. And while Humongous might be a poor representative of what was great about films from this period, it does make a simple thriller for dreary afternoons. This special edition of Humongous from the Katrina's Nightmare series is a humongous win. For years, the picture was plagued by an intolerably dark transfer. If you'd only ever seen the movie on VHS, you might as well say you've only seen parts of it, the bright parts, because the transfer made it unbearable. However, this also led to a mystique forming around the film, and searches for cleaner prints gave the movie a long shelf life. Now, for the first time, we can see Humongous. I mean, actually see it. And the difference is remarkable. 
As for the film itself, this one gets two slashes on the slasher scale for what it is, and maybe a half slash for its reputation. But it's otherwise a footnote if a footnote nonetheless. Thanks for watching Klimchak's Killer Collection. I'll be seeing you again soon. Beep.